freshly washed hair, of course. And right here, I'm just dividing about two thirds of her hair because later that part is going to be blow dried. So I'm going to go ahead and begin moisturizing her hair. I'm using my Taylor Beauty Moisturizing Mist. And then I'm going to go ahead and seal in the moisture from the mist with the Taylor Beauty Grow Thick Oil. Because she'll be wearing this hairstyle for up to two weeks, I want to make sure her hair is extremely moisturized um, from the time that she begins wearing the hairstyle up until that time I take it down. So I'm just working that into her hair and now I'm dividing her hair into sections starting from the bottom. This is where I will begin doing my twist. So I'm using the Taylor Beauty Perfect Coils to do the twist. And the reason why I'm using this product is because it does have a little bit of hold to it. Um, so as opposed to just using the moisturizing products, this will give it a hold so that it'll last longer throughout the week or so. So now I'm just going to continue to twist her hair. As you can see, um, her hair is in medium size twist. I didn't do big twists. This is also part of my one hour regimen. So this hairstyle took me about 45 minutes to complete. And now I'm just doing the side of her twist. I'm using the Taylor Beauty Edge Control to kind of just give her a smooth finish to her twist on the side. And I am twisting all the way to the ends. I only add rubber bands So at now the I'm roots. just going in with my Revlon blow dryer and I'm blow drying her hair. I'll leave the link below to this blow dryer because I always get questions about this blow dryer every time I use it. But um, I blow dry her hair on a medium setting while it's damp, almost dry. Because the blow dryer only work, works well for her hair while it's um, about 80% dry. So now I'm just sectioning it off because I'll be doing three corn rolls. These corn rolls are going to complete the look and give it a more elegant look to her hair. Um, so here is the first corn roll. I did use the edge control along the base of the corn roll just so that I could get a really um, good hold to the braid and so that it wouldn't frizz up while I was braiding her hair. This also allows the braid to last longer. These braids did last me for a full week and then I went ahead and rebraided her hair at the end of the week so that she could wear this style all over again for the next week and I did not redo her twist. So that's a little secret. Sometimes I'll do hairstyles like this where I could just retouch up the front um, so that I can get an extra week out of it, especially if I know I'm going to be busy the following week and I won't have enough time to do her hair. I'll go ahead and do something like that. So now I'm just bringing it over and showing you that this hairstyle has a lot of options. You can wear the twist down, you can wear it to the side, and you can do it my favorite way. This is how we wore it for the first week. And then the second week, we wore it up in a ponytail, which is a side bun. I really like that. It looks so cute. So here is the completed hairstyle. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you share with someone who may find this video. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. And thanks for watching.